Welcome to the Dr. Mudgill Podcast. This is episode 118. We are, uh, God, we're in the last little bit of February here. The months are just flying by. Um, I actually snuck away to uh, Palm Beach, Florida for a couple of days uh, with my kiddos who are off from school this week. Tried to find the sun, but uh, it was actually pretty rainy. Uh, one of the days, it poured for like one of the days that we were there, and it was fairly cool, actually. Cooler than we expected, but nonetheless, it was still great to get away and spend some time somewhere else. And, uh, you know, when life serves you lemons, you, you make lemonade. So we certainly tried to make as much lemonade as possible. But now we're back in the swing of things at a very busy day. Uh, tomorrow with patients, today catching up on all the paperwork and all that sort of stuff that keeps the office going behind the scenes. And um, this podcast is going to be kind of like a, uh, a thoughts of the week style podcast um i was actually thinking about something since uh since yesterday actually i've been thinking about it for the last day or so and i thought i would share it with you guys so yesterday when we got back we were waiting for our bags uh at the airport you know at the carousel where all the bags come down and uh, you know like all bags i'm sure you've all experienced this all bags look basically the same these days uh you know just different colors you know blues and blacks and you know Folks put little tags or ribbons on the, on their suitcases to, to be able to differentiate them. And uh, I was waiting for my bag with, with uh, my little guy. And, um, you know, a blue bag went by that looked very similar to the bag that we were waiting on. And then it looked like what was our bag was coming through. And as it was coming through, an elderly lady came up from behind us, you know, to, to grab the bag. And she said, you know, I think that's my bag. And uh, I was like, well, you know, let me help you with that. And uh, so I got the bag off the carousel and... Um, it actually didn't turn out, it was actually trying to be my bag. It wasn't her bag, but I said, uh, and she was just so like appreciative of the fact, even though it wasn't her bag, she was so appreciative of the fact that like, you know, I helped her get this bag off, which, you know, I mean, anyone would have done to be honest with you. Um, but she was just so sweet about it. She was like, you know, thank you so much. Just, you know, I really appreciate you. And, you know, it was just so beautiful. So like, she was just had so much gratitude that she actually filled my heart with gratitude. She was so you know, appreciative. Um, but I told her, I was like, hey, listen, there was a bag that looked just like this bag that I thought was my bag that just went through. So just just stay next to me, you know, for a few minutes. It's going to come back around the carousel and I'll, I'll just I'll just let you help, you know, help you get it off because that's probably your bag. And she said, oh, OK, that sounds good. And then she kind of disappeared like, further down the carousel where I think her family was. And they're you know, they're, they were collecting all the bags. They must have either been coming from somewhere very far away and planning to stay in New York for a very long time because they had lots of bags, you know, two carts filled with bags or um they were uh, coming back home to New York from a very long trip elsewhere. But anyways, I, had, I was still waiting for a couple of my, my bags to come as well. So, you know, out of the corner of my eye, I was just kind of keeping tabs on what was going on, on the, at the other end of the carousel just to make sure, you know, she didn't need any help or whatever. Um, but, you know, she had her family with her and her daughter helped pull, pull that blue bag that she was looking for off the carousel. And they were kind of just struggling to get it on their, you know, their, their uh, suitcase uh, cart that they got. Because, you know, like I said, they had so many bags. So just before we had all our bags, but I just kind of just popped over there, you know, with my son just before we left and said, hey, just want to make sure you're OK. You got your bag and everything. And, I, you know, helped her kind of adjust the bag on her cart. And then she said, you know, I'm fine. You know, thank you so much, et cetera. Um, and, uh, you yeah, know, that was it. You know, we just parted ways. And, you know, but for some reason, I've actually been thinking about that interaction a lot. Like, you know, literally, I mean, I did absolutely nothing that you know anyone else would do the same thing. But. It was just like, you know, a simple random act of kindness, like, you know, like holding the door open for somebody or, you know, helping someone get their bag up uh, into the overhead storage bin on, on an airplane if, they, if they're having a hard time doing so. Um, but, you know, the effect, well, two things. The effect it had on this woman, she was so appreciative of, of the help. And, um, you know, and I've kind of, obviously that made me feel great, but the way I felt, you know, the way that she made me feel by being so appreciative, even if she weren't appreciative, just doing something nice, like, you know, it just makes you feel good. You know, it's, it's good karma that you're putting into the world. And I always say, you know, good karma, anything you put out into the world comes back tenfold. And honestly, like, just, just that really pleasant interaction that we shared, you know, two strangers in an airport, um, it's filled my heart with love. You know, I just feel like, you know, just really... The world is good 
you know, people are good. And, um, you know, there's a lot of negativity in our world. You know, you watch any news channel, <laughs> whichever one, you know, whichever side of the political fence you fall on, you know, you have your own channels for that. And, you know, there's so much hate on both of those networks. And, you know, there's just, uh, you know, a lot of negativity around the election, just all the stuff that's going on in the world. Um, but despite all that, people are still beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, things that don't make the news or aren't worthy of, of the news, but small human interactions that are positive, that are kind, that are warm, and that just show you that, you know, humans are good deep down inside. And, you know, I think all of us really get a lot out of helping other folks as, you know, simple of a gesture as it may be, it really adds a tremendous amount of value into the world. And, you know, doing these small, simple things for other people that, you know, make their lives easier, you know, kind of help them out just a tad. Um, it adds so much quality uh, to your own life, you know, just doing these sorts of things. Um, you know, hey, it, just, it just feels good. And who doesn't want to feel good more of the time? So, you know, this is a short little message, but something that I hope resonates uh, loudly, you know, my, my wife always says, practice kindness. Um, and, you know, I think that's one of the phrases that are very popular in school these days. And, you know, there's not, there's, a, there's not a statement that could be any more true, you know, be kind. And, you know, I hope you keep that close to the best and, you know, our, uh, and practice that, you know, as much as you possibly can. And uh, I hope you bring that into this weekend and beyond. Hope you have a wonderful, restful weekend. You know, this is our last one of February before we turn the corner into March. Hope you're all just, you know, plugging away and crushing whatever your goals may be and are just ready, ready to attack the week ahead. Remember, be kind. Let's get it.